Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Card Review. So I know I have a ton of cards to look at. Like we are gonna we're set. We're set for like the next couple of weeks. So of course we still got um uh, what's his name? I think it's like Excel Synchron or the, the the new one that I said I was gonna review last episode, but no, I gotta do this guy. So I still got that. I said I was gonna do the whole the Noble Knight, uh the last chapter, said I was gonna review that. Uh, you know, Burning Abyss, they got some new cards. Um, oh my god, I just got so much to review. So much, so much. So we're just gonna, oh, and uh, they also got a, the Synchro deck. They got a Field Spell. Gotta look at that as well. Ton of cards, ton of cards. But, uh, of course, today was supposed to be extra Synchro, but I had to put, post on that because I had to come back and look at this card because we actually got the confirmed effect of the, um, the Burning Abyss Tuner. Now, of course, there was the supposed leaked effect of the Tuner that, of course, wasn't real. It wasn't the correct effect. So, uh, I reviewed it. I reviewed it as if it was a real card, and it was a really good card, you know? Uh, if it was sent to the graveyard, it revived itself, and if it used as a synchro, and you drew a card, so it paid for itself. It was just a really awesome card. Like, a really awesome card. So, but that, of course, that effect wasn't real. And that sucks, that sucks. So, we got the confirmed tuner. So let's go ahead and go over this card and determine whether you run it or not. Alright, so this is Rubik Malabranch of the Burning Abyss. It is a dark level 3 Fiend Tuner effect, okay, with 100 attack and 2100 defense. So he's got a nice booty. You know, if you could, if you take the card art and you kind of, you know, turn it, you kind of see his ass. It's, it's, it's nice and juicy. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gay, but he has a nice ass. Yeah, you guys get the joke because he has good defense. All right, so let's go ahead and go over this effect. So, if you could, if you control a monster that is not a burning abyss, destroy this card. All right, same thing that I call burning abyss. All right, cannot be used as a synchro material except for the synchro summon of a burning abyss synchro monster. All right, so. The fake effect had that same thing. It can only be used as a material for a synch for a material for a burning abyss synchro monster. Okay, that's fine. Virgil is so fucking good that it's okay. It's okay. Uh, let's get a little bit more bang for our buck and just make sure that we want to run this guy. All right. So does he have just the other burning abyss effects? If you could turn all spell and trap, you could special summon this card from your hand, and uh, you can only use this effect of uh, of Rubik once per turn. Wait, that's it? That's it? Where's the rest of you? Where's the rest of you? Where's your Where's your graveyard effect? You You have no graveyard effect? <sighs> wow. Well, that's really crappy. That's really crappy. I mean, damn, nothing, nothing, no graveyard effects. Sir Grav and Skarm, all, when they're when they're sent to the graveyard, they all have effects. This guy does nothing. Nothing. He doesn't pay you back. He's just a tuner. Just a tuner. Wow. Okay. That really sucks. That really sucks. I swear. Like, that's it? That's it. That's really... No. <laughs> I'm sorry. No. <laughs> How come he doesn't... <sighs> We've been waiting for this guy forever just for him to just be a regular burning abyss with no effect. He's just a tuner. Just a freaking tuner. <sighs> He's just a tuner with a great ass. That's all he is. That really sucks. You know, that other, that fake effect where, you know, he paid you back for, and you get to draw a card and he was sent to the graveyard. You get to summon it. That, that, that was just awesome. This? This is just generic. Like... But then, you know what to tell you too, Burning Abyss, they probably did it to themselves, really. Really, when Konami was making this card, they were just like, you know what? Maybe it's not good for us to keep making these cards where they plus from the graveyard, you know? Like, maybe that's not good. Because clearly the deck has just blown out of proportion. Like, this was not, this wasn't what Konami wanted this deck to be. I and mean, of course, it's supposed to be a nice little, uh, you know, a cute little uh, TCG deck, you know? Go ahead and pick it up, make it have fun, you know? It, clearly, it's you could tell by the rarity of the cards, you know? They, they're not spell books. They're not noble knights. They're, they're not telenites. They're not shadows, you know? The only thing expensive in the deck is Dante. 
Dante. Everything else common, 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 common. Like, you know, that, they didn't expect that. They probably expected the monsters to be common, you know, not worth much. You know, you get a pack, you get a couple of them, you're like, oh, yay, look, I got all these common burning abyss. I'm just going to slap them all together into a deck. Or, you know, every once in a blue moon, you know, someone will pull a Dante. It's a nice secret rare, nice card to go after in a set, you know, if you're trying to make the deck, you know. And they probably think uh, maybe it's going to be like maybe like a $10 to $15 card. Dante is freaking 70 plus right now. This ridiculous. And it will only go up in price with the strength of this deck. But... You know, they kind of did it to us themselves. They're, they're kind of like, I think that when Konami made this card, they were like, no, you know what? We don't need to give him a fifth. He doesn't need to do anything. Because Virgil is so good, and Virgil is our money card, that they're going to play this shit anyway. This card's not good, but you're going to play it anyway. <laughs> and that's exactly how it is. Because, <laughs> you know, you play it, you know? And the thing is, Virgil is generic. Virgil is generic. He's one tuner plus one or more non-tuner monster. He is generic. Anybody, if, they, if anybody can synchro into a six, they can go into Virgil. So the question is, if it's not a Burning Abyss turn, tuner for Virgil, then why the hell should I use Rubric as my tuner, my level three tuner? I know there are other level three tuners that can probably pull off a much better job than him. A much better job but you know they decided like hey this is this is what we're gonna give you yeah there's a whole bunch there's a whole bunch look at this look at this I'm, I'm gonna go down the list and I'm gonna talk about some other tuners that you can run over rubric because he's just not that good especially since uh Virgil's generic just like I can go okay well I guess I'll go ahead and you know Fuse my rubric who does nothing. I mean, synchro fuse. Synchro summon my rubric who will do nothing for me when he hits the grave and does nothing for me while he's on the field with one of my uh, other Burning Abyss monsters and make Virgil. How about I just go, how about one of my Burning Abyss monsters and frickin' Gale? Gale, you know Gale who went up to two? Hey, Gale can cut you, you can fucking Gale, cut you in half, synchro summon, Virgil, tack, like, hello, like, you know, it's he's generic, Virgil, generic synchro. So just I I would rather go with Gale. I'm sorry, Gale. Gale at least does something. Gale at least does something. I mean, I guess the only benefit that you have a rubric is you can go like, okay, first turn you can go special summon rubric, normal summon when my burning abyss, synchro summon into uh Virgil and get the burning abyss monster that you of course are synchro summon the effect. But why the fuck would you do that first turn? Why would you fucking go into a fucking Virgil first turn? First turn, I mean like you're going first, not like, you know, you're going first. You know, you know if you're going second, you know, that might be kind of risky. Of course, there will we'll be back row at that point, or there should be. But, you know, with <sighs> first turn, you're just going to probably get one on one or cast out. So, you know. And the, and by then back row abyss, you know that that special summon effect. That's not one of their major effects. They kind of pull it off maybe early in the game, but later in the game they got an ass ton of back row. It's back row abyss. So pulling off that effect, which is really the only effect that he has, yeah. Well, well, who else could we go with instead? You can go with dark resonator. Dark resonator once per turn you can't be destroyed by battle, so you can just set the dark resonator. They attack into it. That it's not destroyed. Next turn, summon one of your burn. Oh no, no. Ooh, my bad. I fucked up. The burning abyss would die. That's why you have to play him. That is why you have to play him. Duh. I'm an idiot. I was like, oh wait, why wouldn't you play something else? Cause your burning abyss would die. So that's a, that's literally all he is. He 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 keeps shit under control. So you have to run him. Damn, that sucks. If burning abyss didn't have that effect that they're dead if you don't control if you control non burning abyss. Then you could just run anybody else. You could run Gale. You could run anybody else. My bad. You guys are probably screaming and yelling at me in the comment section. Well, watch the whole video. My bad. <laughs> My bad. I forgot about that. Totally forgot about that. So you have to use Rubric. Do you want to use Rubric? Uh, no, not really. But do you have to use them? Yeah. You kind of do. You kind of do. Because <laughs> you got to have something on the field to go with the Rubric. You know, to you know, the other Synchro. You know? Of course, once again, tour guide. Tour guide, you can summon rubric. You can. You can go 
Oh, tour guide summon rubric, but then of course the monster is summoned by tour guide cannot be a synchro summon, a, a synchro material. So, no. So, you can go like summon tour guide, tour guide effects, special summon Skarm, special summon rubric if you have no monsters on the field. I mean, no, it's back row. XC with what the the tour guide. No, you can synchro summon the tour guide and the the rubric for Virgil. No effects, of course. Then, depending on what you have in your hand, you can use Virgil effect, discard, spin something back. Hopefully, you discard the burning bits that will get its effect. You have a Virgil and you have <coughs> Skarm on the field, so whatever you summon from uh, Sir Graf will, of course, be on the field fine. Then you can go ahead and XC into Dante, detach the Skarm, mill three, and you have two, the two uh, brothers, even though they're not brothers in here. You know, that's, that's, that's a devil, that's a devil may cry thing, but uh, uh, then you have Virgil and Dante on the field, and you'll be getting a Skarm effect during the end phase. That's probably one of the best plays I could think of, but uh, it's overall not terrible. It's just I really wish they would have done a little bit more with him, you know. But I, I literally think that the deck did it to itself. I think that Konami is going to start stepping back away from this whole, like, plussing from the grave. You know, and they, kind of, they, you know, the first set, they just, they're just like, hey, look at it, burning abyss, the tips. And now they're kind of stepping away with it. They're like, kind of like, here, you get a couple of cards. Here you go, a little bit, little bit, stepping away, stepping away, a little bit, little bit, stepping away. You know, especially, you know, this, this upcoming pack. Or this, uh, what's this, new challengers? The decks that were the tits and getting all this shit are are getting a little bit less. I mean, each, each you know, what, um, you know, Shadals, they're getting what? I'm not even sure if they're getting any more monsters. I don't even think they're getting more monsters. I know they get Elster Draw Fusion, they're getting, uh, Gristal, and they're getting Shikinaga. You know? But not, no, whole new monsters, whole new, changing the whole entire type of deck, nothing like that. You know? Satellas, they're getting what? Sirius, Beetlejuice, Procyon, or Procyon, or Pro I don't know how to pronounce that one's name. Um, uh, Trivio, which is fine. You know, and, and this is this deck is getting what? Virgil, Rubric, two more monsters, and a trap card. The trap card is goddamn good. But, you know, the other two monsters, they're kind of, they're kind of meh. You know, they're kind of like, okay, uh, okay, sure. Um, but, uh, you know, it, it's not as, they're not as broken as just, you know, so when I'm sent to graveyard, summon from the deck. Oh, when I'm sent to graveyard, you know, when, it, when I'm sent to graveyard, summon from the deck, which is very frowned upon in Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, when you're sent to graveyard, monster born something. Ugh, awesome. You know, when I'm sent to graveyard, go ahead and search. You know, you know, Skarm is tour guide's bitch, like, if you ever thought that Sangan was Tour Guide's bitch, no, you're mistaken. Skarm is Tour Guide's bitch. But, uh, Rubric, he's just kind of there. You gotta play him. You have to play him. You gotta play him, because Virgil is good. You know, Virgil is good. Rubric is bleh, but you play him because Virgil is so young. And, you know, and it's a really hard concept to grasp, but you gotta play it. Hey, Virgil is what the deck needs, definitely, because the deck has no bite. No bite. Like, take take away the back row. Take away the back row. Flip up Royal Decree against the Burning Abyss, and just they just lose it. They lose their teeth. They 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 they, they try to nom you to death. You know, you know. Without their back row, I mean, what do they got? They got, they they got to get freaking um, Astro Force, which is just happens to have synergy. So they either got to get Astro Force, or they're gonna try to gum you down with the twenty five attack Dante, like. Ooh, you know, I, you know, I tried playing the deck without background. I really did, and it was just not working. It was not working at all. I was just gumming down my opponent, but I really it wasn't getting anything done, and it really sucked. So, uh, I had to put some background. I did. I had to put some background in the deck for uh, Vitamin Y because it wasn't working. It wasn't working. I tried it without background, and I, I either the duels would take a millennium to get done, or I would lose because I I would be I wouldn't be a threat. So the deck has to run some back row, and you know, it sucks that you gotta do it, but you gotta do it. You gotta do what you gotta do. <sighs> but, rubric, 
How many do you run? You run three. I, I was thinking maybe one, but you you gotta you gotta have the high consistency of him. You gotta be able to whip out your Virgil consistently, and you got you gotta you gotta you gotta use that spec. That special summon effect is pretty decent, so yeah, uh, you gotta do it. And it may not be the best of plays, but it has to be done, and that really sucks because I just really wish he w he had some more bang to his buck, but he doesn't. And yeah, so uh, what is it? Mondays, Mondays, Vitamin Y is burning the best. So of course I will be putting Rubric and Virgil in the deck and testing that out. Uh, and seeing how that works. But uh, definitely, uh, for Rubric, yes. Crane Crane, definitely, definitely, yes. Because you'll go Crane Crane, summon Rubric, effect negated, go ahead and go into your Virgil. So Crane Crane, yes, yes. <sighs> all right, well, besides being an idiot earlier in this video, uh, I think that it's all I gotta say about him. Like I said, I just, he's just really, he's just, he's just, yeah, really. He doesn't do anything. He's just a tuner, but you'd run it, because Virgil's that good. Uh, so go ahead and tell me what you guys think about uh, Rubric in the comment section below. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of the card review. So thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys uh, next Tuesday. I'm going to talk about the Burning Abyss Trap card, I need to talk about that. Alright, thanks for watching.